Welcome to Cocos. Today we will talking about the functions for protection testing in IEC 61850 networks with the RTS test systems. First let us take a closer look to the test setup. Normally, the test object is connected to the process bus of the station and sends goose messages into this network. In our example, the process bus is represented by a single switch. In order to be able to record and evaluate the goose messages sent out by the test object during the protection test with the RTES, a connection must be established between the process bus and the test system. The Ethernet port on the back of the RTES is used for this purpose, as it is directly connected to internal signal processor, thus minimizing runtimes. The communication between RTES and PC is established by using one of the interfaces provided by the integrated control unit. To perform the test, the RTES 5 software is stared and the communication with the test system is established. Since countless goose messages can be distributed via the process bus, it is necessary to specify which messages or signals have to be recorded and evaluated before the test is started. For this purpose, the configuration file unique for each test object is loaded and the required signals are adopted into the software. To be able to use the information from the goose messages like conventional binary signals, internal signals of the RTES software have to be assigned. Finally, we activate these virtual inputs in the mapping. The test itself can now be executed as usual. For the evaluation it is not important whether the signal was recorded by hardware input or goose message. Thank you for watching this video. For more informations visit us at cocos.com.